Hello everyone and welcome back to Adventures with them. So this spring break is not exactly turning out like we kind of thought it might would or had actually hoped it might. Um, so today we were supposed to go and start working on countertops and backsplash and stuff like that for the kitchen and we actually ended up um, with some things going on last night that changed um, our whole look outlook on what we were going to be able to do at least for a few days so um, yesterday morning our youngest son woke up and just went back to sleep which we had been super busy and um it, it didn't seem unnormal you know we we've been going and doing so much lately that i didn't really think anything about it the um older sister was still asleep and i just thought you know they're getting to sleep in so no big deal and then he um came outside while I was out there cleaning and went to play basketball. And again, not a normal, you know, just kind of a typical type deal. Um, as the day went on though, things just seemed odd, a little off. Um, getting aggravated and frustrated and things like that. Just and so um, we just kind of kind of let it go a little bit. Just thought maybe he was just aggravated over maybe not, you know, playing video games and so forth. Just kind of trying to get outdoors and do a few things. And as the day went on, he just seemed to kind of like forget things and be really confused about things that just seemed... Um, it just kind of seemed off, you know, not really typical, fixing to be a teenager, so, you know, you have mood swings and different things going on with kids, and, um, we just kind of let it go a little bit, like, you know, just, just give it a little time, you know, it'll be okay, and, Thought maybe, you know, a little dehydration maybe from being outside, being in the sun, and getting a little bit sunburnt and so forth over the weekend. And so, um, we just kind of let it go throughout the day. As we were getting ready to eat dinner, um, it just snowballed all of a sudden. It went from being a little odd to being very extremely unnormal couldn't remember like where the phone was couldn't remember where the phone charger was couldn't remember putting his phone on the phone charger looking for a cup and it was literally right in front of him on the counter but he couldn't seem to find it it just it was really very unusual and so we ended up taking him or my husband took him to the ER as you know during the pandemic only one parent can be in the ER in the hospital and so forth and we literally live a block away so I stayed with the other kids at the house and he took him over there and they started running tests and ended up um, taking him by ambulance to Children's Hospital He's been inpatient today, running tests, and has now been released to do more testing as outpatient. He is getting better. Um, he is starting to remember, not remember things, but he's not as confused and um, just kind of off feeling or off acting as he was. Nothing he did was different yesterday or the day before that um we all ate and drank the same things so there was nothing there didn't go anywhere that we didn't go so um 
we just don't know. The doctors just don't know, and nothing has made any sense whatsoever. So, um, anyway, this video is just basically to tell you that, you know, I know it's getting warmer out, and I know kids are out and about a little bit more, and we still don't know if it had to do with being in the sun or the heat or maybe a little bit of dehydration or anything like that. It, everything is still unknown, so please just... You know, we go through this every year of, you know, pay attention to yourself and, and your children and your family and your neighbors and be aware of, you know, heat strokes and dehydration and things like that. And just remember that, you know, we're going from a fairly cool time of the year to a fairly hot time of the year fast. And it doesn't take much of being out in the sun for something like you know, um, dehydration or, um, you know, a heat stroke or something like that to happen. And I've never had anything like this ever to happen before. And it's very, very scary not knowing what is going on, how to fix it or anything. I mean, we are still just shocked over it all. We are very thankful that he is okay, and we are very happy that he is getting released to have other things done as outpatient, which means they don't feel like it's something that's going to be long-term or something that is going to go backwards. They feel like he's just going to get better, and, you know, like I said, it's this has just been one of those things that I never would have thought it would have happened and I just want everyone to please be aware and please watch and it's not just kids it's not just adults it's not just elderly you know we we have to think about pets too you know if your pets are outside and they're not used to being out there maybe they're indoor pets or they go in and out it's been so cool that you know, now they're going out in the heat. Make sure they have shade. Make sure they have plenty of water and things like that. So, you know, this is just kind of a awareness video, I guess. Um, I just don't want other people to be in this situation that we have been in for the last two days. So, um, with that being said... This is just going to be the video for today as we have a lot going on and happening. Um, and we just hope everything gets better and that he um, continues to get better. And maybe we can do a last little something for spring break, but we're not going to push it. We're just going to hope that he gets better and feels, feels more like himself and... Um, doesn't have any more issues and so anyway with that being said I hope you have a wonderful day